Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Q at HP Discover 2014. Brought to you by HP. Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante and we are live. This is HP Discover 2014 and this is theCUBE. theCUBE is a live mobile studio. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. We have CEOs, executives, practitioners, CIOs, and you know we like to get bloggers on. So we have a very special segment. Gloves and Boots are here. These guys are, are video bloggers. Fafa and Mario, welcome to theCUBE, guys. Great to see you. Well, hey, thanks for having us. So wait, which one's Fafa and which one's Mario? Oh. Uh, I'm Fafa, Okay. this and is Mario. Mario. Great, so. How are you doing? But look, I, I could go on your shot. Oh, awesome. This is pretty cool. Can we go, uh, Matt, can we cut to uh, Fafa's shot? <laughs> so guys, <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Yeah. The Cube is the best. We love the Cube. Yeah, we love the Cube too. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's hey, the first time on the Cube, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you, do you want to come into our shot? So, no, I'm good where I am, thank oh, you. Okay. So we're here on the HP Discover. You guys have been, been, been talking all week about uh, storage. So storage, is, why is storage so hot? Uh, well. This is my shot, right? Okay, well, storage, storage is hot. Because like here in Las Vegas, when you need to store your stuff, you have too much, you go to those universal storage, but is that what you're talking about? No, he's talking about the HP storage, like the, like the HP 3PAR store serve storage, is right? That, is that? Yeah, you guys have been talking about, about uh, 3PAR all week. What do you think of 3PAR? Uh, he, we met him, he's a nice guy. Um, you know, he, uh, he likes to talk a lot, right? Well, well, I'd have to say, to be perfectly honest with you, Dave, um, we had to do a commercial, I think it was just rolling before this, uh, for the three-part server, and we don't really understand what it does. We hear it's great, but that's not really our cup of tea. Okay, but, but so, you've, you've, you guys have been talking about Flash all week. Right, oh, yeah. So flash. What about, what about Flash? Flash. Oh, where, I can take this where one. Where does that fit? Well, first of all, you're going to have to narrow it down, Dave. Are we talking Flash Gordon, or are we talking Flash from Justice League? And if we're talking Flash from Justice League, is this Silver Age Flash, Barry Allen, or is it Wally West, more modern? I'm actually talking about a different kind of Flash. You know, like Flash drives, like Flash drives you might find in your, your personal computer. Oh, no, oh like, yeah. Yeah, like in the... Like, the like, all, like all Flash array. Yeah, the all Flash array. Yeah. What do you guys think Watch about the all Flash array? Like, you got three par... You got EMC, you got pure storage. Which is the best out there? Okay, all flash array. If that's the one with the 1.21 gigawatts, that is definitely the best one. Gigawatts, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's definitely better than EMC. That's that's definitely what we learned. Now why? Why is it better than EMC? Because that's what we were told. <laughs> Who told you that? Three par? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, okay. he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. I did. I've never met three par. What's he? What's he like? Uh, he's very tall. Uh, he's skinny. He's very uh, rectangular, and he's got a yellow stripe down the side of his back. To totally, to totally fess up to you, Dave, he's kind of a killer robot-looking fellow. We destroyed him in our commercial, which I regret, as it turns out he was just jovial. But uh, yeah, pretty much the three par that we were given to do the commercial with, we broke. So you guys bit the hand that, that fed you, so to speak. Well, Luis did. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Luis it. is the big monster that we have. Hey, Dave, hey. can I ask you a question? Can we mix it up? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Are you Italian? I am Italian. My yeah, mother I'm was Italian. Italian. My father was Italian. What part of Italy are you from? All over. So uh, Naples and uh, the town called Torre Nogella near Naples. Oh, beautiful. I'm beautiful. not from Italy. I'm a, I, I speak one language, American. Yeah, me too. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. You know, I'm also Italian, and uh, my parents are from uh, Bari and Calabria. You know. I was just in Italy uh, last year with my wife. It was very nice. I'd love to go. To oh, Italy I, I've there. never been. I'd love to go there. You, you know, learn go. the language. Definitely, they have storage in Italy too. You know. That's oh, really? what I was going to ask. Do yeah. they have the you know the storage in Italy? Do they have yeah, the they storage got, problems? They got storage everywhere. It's unbelievable. So you know, wait, the, they have data out there too, right? have data, right? Is it a different kind of data than the data we have here? No, it's, 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 it's just in a different language, right? They got three pars and they got EMCs and they got pures and everything else too. Hey, hey, Fafa, what? Fafa, is uh, data the same as storage? No, the, the data goes in the storage. Where's the flash go? The flash is the storage. So... I uh, see, I understand uh, uh, more than he does. I know flash yeah. is like the hard drive. Yeah. And well, it's like... The flash is the, 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 the non-hard. The, the other, the spinning disk, right? The old... Yeah. It's called spinning rust. Right. Okay, it's slow. Even though it looks really fast, it's slow. And the flash makes it really fast. Right. Right, that's the stuff you guys have been blogging about, right? Yeah, we've been, well, you know, we've been prim primarily talking about 3PAW, which I believe can be an all flash array. Right, right? I said that in the, in the video. Yeah. So, yeah, three, uh, yeah go, go ahead, take three it. 3PAW could be a little bit of both. 
right? So it could be a little all flash array, it could be a some flash array, it could be a no flash array. Wow, so it's very flexible. It's very oh, flexible. Oh, that's why we said it was flexible in the commercial, remember? Hey, hey you know yeah. what I find very interesting is you started asking us these questions, Dave, and now you are giving the answers to us. This is amazing. I know because you guys don't really know much about this, but you're, you're good looking and funny, so we, we can keep going down this path. What about CIOs? Do you know, you, you're talking about CIOs this week? Wait, is that like... Old McDonald had a farm. CIO! And on this farm we had a three The CIOs are the guys walking around here in suits, not me, but other guys walking around in suits. Oh, CIOs. Oh, I thought like in charge. I thought that's a CEO. Right, what's the difference? A CEO, you know, is the real boss. CIO thinks he's the boss. Oh, okay, Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So what else is what else is happening? What do you see at HP Discover that's exciting? Well, you know, they got a lot of... Uh, oh, they had a dragon over here somewhere, right? Yeah, there's this, there's this display, like, how to train your dragon. That was really good. Oh, you know, they had this table, Dave, where they're giving away bouncy balls, and if you hit them on the floor really hard, they light up. They're amazing. <laughs> now, did you guys go to the storage party last night? We did. We did. How was that? Was that excess? It was right? awesome. We, was, we, was... Got, we got the owner of HP Storage to throw a spoon in the pool. I don't know if he's the owner. He was a VP, though. It was impressive. Oh, yeah. And we saw this big fat guy swinging around on a, you know, one of those stripper poles. It was really great. It was amazing. <laughs> that guy you're talking about, the, the big guy, right? Yeah. The, the, he's, he's, you know, done some cool stuff in his life. You know, he, he sold his company for $2.5 billion to HP. That's definitely a lot more money than we have ever seen. Can you believe that? No. Yeah, $2.5 billion. If you sold your company for $2.5 billion, what would you do? Wait, $2.5 billion? $2.5 billion, yeah. Oh, my God, that is a lot of moolah. That's a lot of Somalians, Dave. It was a lot of moolah. What would you do? What would I do with it? He did a good job. What did that. you ask? I forgot. Well, what, what would you, you do, do if you well, sold your company for $2.5 billion? Um... Well, would you be doing video blogs? No, I'd buy the Bathmobile. I'd say, yeah. well, I'd keep doing video blogs. Well, we get the General Lee. Yeah, we get the General Lee and the and the Bathmobile, and we'd race them. Yeah. And that would be the blog. Oh, the blog would be so much more interesting. Yeah. Well, can what can you we, wait? Can what, you lend us some money? What do we have that we can sell for two point five billion dollars? <laughs> uh, Gorilla? No, he's not for sale. So let me ask a question. Nice you guys do a lot of product reviews, right? Yeah. So yeah. what kind of products do you you've reviewed the three par? All flash array, which you don't seem to know much about, but that's okay. How does it compare to things like the ShamWow or other things that you've reviewed? Well, I'd say that you know the Ronco rotisserie oven and the three-part store they they were similar in many, many ways. I find them comparable in you know they're both shiny. Square. Um, yeah, that's right, square. They have, yeah, they're shiny. You said that though, right? That's right. Uh, the problem. You can't cook chicken in a three-part. We though. we tried to shove the bird in there and it does not end well. No. So in that way, the Ronco rotisserie oven is superior. Yeah. So, but it's priced so much less than the three-par array, so... Yeah, that's true. And the chicken is, uh, you know, you, we did try to put the chicken in there and, um, you know, I think we broke it and we don't have any more money now. That's kind of the, you know, the, the pattern for these testing blogs is we pretty much break everything we test. What didn't, what didn't break? Anything? But it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. So, but people keep hiring you despite you breaking the stuff and eating the hand that feeds oh, you. Oh, we didn't, we weren't hired to test all those other things. Only HP is hired us. Those yeah. other things we just sort of did on our own, willy-nilly. Yeah. Uh, Dave, let yeah. me tell you, Dave, we are as surprised as you are that we were hired <laughs> to do anything. Don't do it. <laughs> well, it seems to be working out for you guys. What's next for you? Uh, well, you know, we'll probably go to In-N-Out Burger. Oh, yeah, we're going? Are we doing that? Yeah, we gotta get to In-N-Out yeah, Burger. Yeah, uh, what's coming up next for us is actually after this interview, we're going straight to In-N-Out Burger. Yeah, you see, we're from the East Coast, Dave. They don't huh? got In-N-Out out there. Yeah, they got the Shake Shack. You can't get that sweet goodness out on the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast, too. Where are you from? Really? Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Oh! oh. Five guys. So, so you're you a Red Sox fan? Yeah, I'm a big Red Sox fan. You guys oh. obviously from New York. Yeah. But, you know, I went to In-N-Out Burger in L.A. with my kid because we're from Boston. And it wasn't in and out. It was in, and it took like 25 minutes to get a burger. Is that what you guys found? Is that what, why it's called in and out? Because it's you get it. in quick and you get out fast? Is that no, it? It's I, thought to get out it's, I thought it's because you eat the burger, and then the next thing you know, it goes out because <laughs> you, know, be. you can't handle it That's, in your that, that could be. I don't eat a lot of meat, so that was maybe the case. But uh, Did you find it delicious, though? I find it's worth the wait, even if you have to stick around. I guess. Well, like I said, I don't eat a lot of meat, so... Uh, what, My wife what, what kind of food me. do you enjoy, Dave? I like, you know, a lot of fruits and vegetables, actually. You know? I know it sounds boring, but that's what I like to eat. That is pretty good. What boring. about you guys? You're from New York. You eat, like... Oh, man. Pasta. Yeah. Big steaks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Burgers. Uh, hot dogs at Yankee yep. Stadium. Yeah. Good stuff. Pizzas. Chicken. What's the story? You guys Mets fans or Yankees fans? We're, uh, <laughs> we're Yankees. <laughs> Mets fans. We're Jets Yankee or, fans. Mets fans. Jets or Giants? Uh, well... Broncos. Denver Broncos. No, we like the Jets. You like the Jets? Yeah, unfortunately. So you don't like the Patriots? 
No, no. Not, no, not the Pats. Darrell Rivas is playing for us now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm excited that... about that. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, Jets, we got to leave it there. I'll give you guys the last word. What's the bumper sticker leaving HP Discover? What's it say uh, on the back of the truck when it's pulling away from the Las Vegas Sands Convention Center? What's that bumper sticker say? That bumper sticker says, you sure did a lot of challenges this week, and we got to, uh, some guy to write HP on his forehead with a Sharpie. That's how much people love the HP. And it says, honk if you love HP. Honk loud. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to the Cube. It was really a pleasure having you on, and uh, welcome back anytime. Maybe we'll see you in Barcelona. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks, oh, you're Dave. welcome. To keep it right there, buddy, we'll be right back with our next guest. This is Dave Vellante, and we are live. This is the Cube. We're right back.